It's that time of the year again. It's exam season. It's time for figuring out how I can study a semester's worth of content in a few days and spending what little money I have left on overpriced lattes and Uber Eats. But alas, we're here. Fortunately, I've just finished my exams and I've spent the past couple of days compiling all of my exam essentials. I've somehow adopted this persona as a big sister for a lot of you, and I don't take that role very lightly. So I wanted to equip you with my favorite tech, pens, baked goods, and basically everything that got me through the treacherous grinds this exam season. But regardless, I want to hear what you guys are studying for and how the exam season is going so far. So throw that in the comments below or connect with me on this new Instagram account that I made that makes it easier for me to connect with you all. But without further ado, let's all make this study period a little bit more bearable and talk about my exam season essentials. So let's start with tech since that's where the bulk of my studying takes place. As you may have seen in my what's in my backpack video, I have a 2020 M1 MacBook Air and this is where I do my Anki, practice tests, watch videos, and more. It's also what powers my dual monitor setup, which is especially helpful if, for example, I want to watch a lecture and take notes at the same time. Related to my laptop is this mouse. And I used to think it was strange when people brought their external mouse to a cafe just to connect it to their laptop, but now I get it. I get it, you guys. I have the Logitech MX Master 3S, and it's this funky shape because it's ergonomic or something. It feels pretty good in your hand but I found this especially helpful for when I was doing my practice exams on my laptop. I just found that I was able to answer the questions and navigate through tabs so much faster with the mouse instead of my trackpad. So much so that I would genuinely get upset if I left my mouse at home. So now I'm a mouse at a cafe girl. My next essential is, surprise, surprise, my iPad. I have the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And even though I use it every day in my regular life, this has been so useful during exam seasons for reviewing my lectures. As you can see, I highlight text, make notes in the margin, and use apps like Notability to hide content and quiz myself. If you've watched my most recent study with me video, you'll see that I use my iPad for the bulk of my histology, radiology, and anatomy studying. My iPad is 100% an essential, whether or not it's exam season. My next essential is any pair of noise canceling headphones. I have both, I'm talking so loud because now I can't hear anything. I have both the Sony XM4s and the Apple AirPods Pro. Both are really great options for tuning out background noise and really getting into the zone when studying. As someone who studies a lot in libraries and cafes, which are areas that can get really noisy, it is so important for me to have these so that I can really focus and also signal to other people that I'm studying for real and to not talk to me. And now, Let's talk about my Anki remote once again. I know you guys are sick of her, but she really is an essential. You guys know that I'm a big proponent of Anki and that the bulk of my studying is going through my Anki flashcards. This remote turns Anki into kind of a little game and allows me to go through my flashcards at my desk if I'm just standing in the corner of my room and just lets me click through those thousands of cards much, much faster. I have put so many of my med friends onto this Anki remote, so much so that I actually have to get a commission code or something from them at this point. And if you use Anki even half as much as I do, I so, so, so recommend getting this. Lastly for tech is my chargers case. Now, this is always in my bag wherever I go, but this is especially handy during exam season. When my friends and I were studying deep into the night and when all of our devices inevitably died, guess who came to the rescue? I have this hard shell case that I got from Amazon and I covered in stickers. And if I open it, you'll see that I have my iPhone charger, my MacBook slash my iPad charger, and my Anki remote charger somewhere in there as well. I have had so many people borrow these chargers, my friends, my family, random strangers in the cafe, and it ensures that I'm always prepared even when my three hour planned study session becomes a 10 hour one. It's good to have a case just to hold all of your chargers so you don't even have to think about it when you're packing your bag. So I always carry this with me and it has been so important for me during this season. And that's it for tech. Oh gosh. Now let's talk stationary. You know, you know that studying is getting extra real when you resort to the good old pen and paper. Sometimes I just like to list things or solidify concepts in my head by writing things down in my notebook with my pen. So these are my favorite stationery to use when I'm studying for exams. Starting off with pens, I used to be a die-hard Muji 0.5 gel pen girl. So much so that I have it in all these colors and I have both the ones with the caps like this, as well 
as the clicky ones. I used to think there was no better pen than this. However, I recently found the Zebra Sarasa 0.7 gel pen, and by golly, you guys, this is a game changer. So I still love these pens, but it has the perfect amount of ink and it just writes so smoothly and it doesn't smudge which is so important for me because I write in cursive and I write fast so it tends to smudge quite a bit and it's so great that even if I write something and highlight it immediately after it doesn't smudge which is just so perfect and speaking of highlighters my combo is this and the pink bound liner so I can make little headers in my notes so my notes look a little something like this. Can you guys see that? So I tend to make little headers of topics and then I just kind of write down everything that I can remember. So these pens and a Muji notebook is an unbeatable combo. I don't know what Muji puts in their notebooks, but their paper just feels so much smoother than anything else I've ever written in. I've almost filled up an entire notebook during the semester, and I attribute a lot of that to how this paper feels and how these pens write, so I really recommend these two. Finally, I don't know if you guys are whiteboard people, but I am. And when I'm reviewing with other people and I'm drawing mind maps or listing summaries on the board, it's so important to carry your own whiteboard markers. There was one day that I forgot this and all hell broke loose because we had this big old whiteboard and nothing to write with. So I always make sure that I have these with me. This is just a pack that I got from Amazon. It comes with a bunch of colors and it has little erasers on top. I love these and I actually used this quite a bit while I was studying for my exams. Especially for something as content heavy as meds, sometimes it's nice to do little review sessions with your friends and I find it the most effective if you can all just review concepts that you know on something big like a whiteboard. And now moving on, no exam cramming or study session is complete without the right food and drinks to fuel your brain. I always make sure that I bring my large Yeti Rambler tumbler filled to the brim with ice cold water and I sometimes like to bring my smaller baby Yeti insulated mug if I'm bringing coffee from home. I don't know if you're all the same, but I need to have minimum two drinks with me while I'm studying, one regular drink like water and one fun drink like coffee. I don't know, the session doesn't seem complete without it. Sometimes I'll have three. I'll have tea, coffee, and water, depending on how intense the study session is. Let me know in the comments what you guys like to drink. Now, anyone that knows me personally knows that I cannot study if I'm even a little bit hungry. As soon as I reach even 35% hunger, I have to announce to the study table that I have to eat something or I'm gonna pass out. So I always like to make sure that I have at least one snack with me while I'm studying. So I thought I would break this video up a bit and bring you guys to the kitchen as I show you rapid fire how to make a single serving chocolate chip cookie. If you just wanted a quick snack for yourself or a little treat to reward yourself for studying. Take it away, Chef Sab. As someone who is unfortunately a bit of a crammer, I will stay in the library for an ungodly amount of time, so I always want to make sure that I am warm and cozy, but still semi-presentable. Especially now that it's absolutely freezing here in Canada, we have to stay warm. So let's talk clothing. As much as I would love to pull up in a hoodie and jogger set, and I really did in undergrad, I'm kind of at this point now where it's very much so look good, feel good. So if I'm dressed bummy, I feel bummy. So I like to put in a little bit of effort while still maintaining my warmth and comfort. So my first essential is the fleece. You can never go wrong with a good fleece. It's easy to throw on when it gets a little bit colder. It's so warm and cozy, but in my head, it's just a little bit more presentable than my grease stained hoodie. Some of my favorites include this baby pink Columbia one that I thrifted. I do quite love this one. I wear this quite often. And then I also have this navy blue Patagonia one that's a bit lighter. And it does have faculty of medicine on it, but I don't know, I just feel a little bit embarrassed wearing that in public. So I don't wear this one out as much, but it's also very warm. So a good fleece is good whenever you're studying. Next in lieu of, is that how you pronounce it? In lieu, lieu? In L-I-E-U of sweatpants, 
I like to wear straight leg pants with elastics instead. These are basically just sweatpants, but they just seem a little bit more put together for me. So there is nothing worse then when you leave the house in a pants with buttons and then they start digging into your stomach while you're sitting down Ugh, that's the absolute worst especially if you're studying for a long period of time so i like to make sure i get something with an elasticated waist so that i have pants like these that are super nice and stretchy so they're nice and comfy and i also have these that unfortunately just got stained but same concept stretchy waistband most comfortable ever. Now, when I'm studying at home, for some reason, all of that goes out the window. Regardless of what I look like, my priority is comfort. So I make sure that I have the biggest, fluffiest robe known to man, and this is pretty much what I study in. And finally, I don't know if you guys experience the same thing, but my feet get super duper cold to the point that they turn kind of pale and blue. So especially during the winter season, I like to make sure that I'm studying in super duper fluffy socks, but I like to make sure that my feet are nice and warm with some very warm socks okay my room is an absolute mess we're gonna finish it up by talking about some of my favorite apps while i'm studying i don't always listen to music when i'm studying but when i do i listen to a specific spotify playlist that's curated to my mood and the type of studying that i'm doing for example if i'm doing something that's a bit more memorization heavy like anatomy flashcards i'm able to listen to music with lyrics in it so i would listen to playlists like this one called study playlist Rory Gilmore's version, which is more moody, indie, folksy vibes. It really helps me romanticize my life as a student. Or this one, the most hyped Taylor Swift, if I need to be a little bit more energized. If I'm really in the zone and I need to do some deep, deep learning, I'll listen to a playlist that has no words, it's all instrumental. Something like this playlist called Study Music that is actually motivating, which is a collection of classical music and piano pieces. And when I'm really in the dumps, like I'm really in the mud, I'm at my wit's end. It's one in the morning, but I still have more studying to do. That's when I'll listen to something a little bit more insane, like this Tokyo Drift hyper techno radio mix. And I don't even like raves. I don't like EDM or house music or trap music, but there's just something about this that is so motivating and it will keep me awake during this time of day. So I really curate my Spotify playlist based on my mood and kind of what's going on around me and I really recommend that you do the same. If anybody has some really great study playlists that they've curated, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'm always looking for something new to listen to and I would love to hear what everybody's music tastes are. Oh, I would also love to see everybody's Spotify wrapped. This is why I made an Instagram, you guys, because I really just want to learn more about you as people and you can't link your Spotify wrapped on the YouTube comments, or can you? I'll find a way to make you guys share them with me on Instagram. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. I'd love to hear your guys' music tastes. Next up is my beloved Pomodoro Timer. I use the app Pomo Focus when I'm on my iPad, but I also like Pomodoro Timer .online when I'm on my laptop. It's great to break up a really long study period into designated study and break sessions to keep yourself accountable and keep yourself on track. And finally, I recommend app blockers like this app called OneSec to block certain apps, which for me is TikTok. I am unfortunately, as the kids call it, chronically online. And if I don't have this to dissuade me from going on TikTok, I will enter a rotting spree and be on TikTok for three hours straight. So apps like OneSec force you to take a deep breath in and out and you have to wait like 20 seconds before the app opens and even then it asks you, are you really sure you want to open the app? And by that point, I'm just so irritated that I end up clicking off TikTok. It's been really great to stop my procrastinating and it's been especially helpful during the exam season. And finally, kind of in the same vein, let's talk about reading because just because I don't want myself to procrastinate on TikTok doesn't mean that I shouldn't be taking breaks. It is so crucial to take some time away from studying or else you'll actually lose your mind, but it's good to make those breaks productive. So instead of going on social media, I found it helpful to take breaks by reading books that had kind of shorter chapters or just shorter overall, so I wouldn't get sucked into reading an entire book in one day. So these are some of the books that I've read recently or I've reread during my little study breaks. So some of my recommendations are Conversations on Love by Natasha Lund. This one is quite lovely and it's broken up kind of into smaller chapters. 
This is Someone Who Will Love You in All Your Damage Glory by Raphael Bob Waxberg. He's the creator of Bojack Horseman, which is so funny. And it's broken up into a bunch of short stories, so sometimes I'll just read one of the short stories. And finally, this is Small Things Like These by Claire Keegan. This isn't really broken up into shorter chapters, but it's just a shorter book overall. Like, look how big the font is. So I felt that this wasn't too much of a distraction. Maybe. This one's a bit iffy. But shorter books like this or books that are a little bit more broken up I think are the perfect study break and don't bring me into the same rotting spree that social media does. And that's it! Throughout my exam season this year, this is what I found to be the most essential. On a more serious note, please take care of yourself during this exam season. I know that we make jokes about studying 24-7 and is this finals week or my final week, but there is no grade that is worth sacrificing your physical and your mental well-being, so please take care of yourself. I wish you all the absolute best of luck with whatever's left of your exam season, and I am so excited to be celebrating the holidays with you guys this year. I love Christmas, and I know it might be a little bit different than the videos that I have posted, but I would love to create some holiday content for you guys, so if that's something that you're interested in, please let me know. Go out and smash those exams, and then we're going to celebrate the holidays days together and it's going to be so much fun and I'm so excited. So as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!